yeah, it was the first time for me uh, working together with KYB and also uh, both on the steering and the dampers. So I've never experienced that before. So uh, yeah, it was something new, but it's always nice and, and great to learn new experience and to try new things and try to move forward uh, on, on details. So yeah, it was definitely, definitely fun. I think they are a very nice piece of kit. I mean, obviously, uh, COVID situation made it difficult to, to work even closer. Um, but of course, you know, uh, the team has done a great job uh, previously and they had a good set of dampers uh, straight away. Uh, so, yeah, I think there is great potential and they work very well throughout the year. Yeah, it's, it's always, you know, a little bit of a, a tweak towards your own personal preference, but uh, I think it, that went very quickly, to be honest, and the team had a lot of experience from the dampers before as well, so uh, yeah, that was fairly smooth. That is tricky, but I think I would choose, if you could choose a Canada long straight towards first corner, and I would like, instead of Canada first corner, I would like to put the first corner from Pulleys there, arriving okay. at a high speed into oh. that crest, right? That would be, that would be cool, I think. And also, if you could add into the gravel section in Canada, that long, narrow part in between the concrete walls on the gravel. That is a pretty spectacular uh, piece of gravel as well. And Montalega as well. Uh, there's so many, so many good things in, uh, in Rallycross, to be honest. I think the second jump in Hullius. I think that would be my choice. That is a, that is a very, very cool jump. And I think, yeah, that would be it. Can you choose the Joker from Francia Corta 2014? Yeah, Francia Corta 2014 Joker, I think, from Italy. Oh, yes. I think uh, the tip will be and try and find a team and, you know, show your passion for the sport and uh, work really really hard because in the end uh, motorsport is a very tricky sport and uh, make sure you race in a series where you can win because that is in the end what's the most important to show results uh, for your partners i started uh, my career let's say or when i was young with cross country skiing um, so I did that until I was 20 years old, before I started with motorsport. Um, so, yeah, maybe that, uh, or, yeah, I, I think I would do something in any, anything to compete. Because in the end, I like motorsport. My father has been driving cars since I was young. Uh, so for sure, motorsport is, is my passion. But at the same time, I think the most important for me is to compete. So anything you can compete in. Oh, tricky question, to be honest. Uh, but I would like to do an event in a WRC car. That would be cool. Uh, I really like uh, rally. It's a, it's a huge challenge, so I wouldn't expect any results. So uh, don't take the tip from me uh, of uh, trying to win everything you, you, you do. But uh, that would be something cool just for my own experience. And also, I always loved, since I was small, uh, to watch the V8 supercars in uh, Australia. That, that car looks absolutely mega to drive, so that would be something maybe. Uh, yeah, but that was, that was quite cool. I mean, since 2014, uh, we've been racing against uh, EKS, and uh, we know uh, you will from JC for many years, and now they, they merged their team to EKS JC, so you have always seen the guys and you know the guys very well which are working there but of course you know you always keep your cards very close to yourself and don't show your tricks uh, but then to put everything on the table and then you know learn from each other and try to absolutely maximize the performance it's always a challenge 
Um, and Matias uh, has always been a great competitor. I really like to race against Matias, so uh, it's nice to join uh, his team. And also, I, I know Matias since when he drove for my father's team 1999. So, um, yeah, it was about 10 years when I met Matias uh, for the first couple of times. I think the, the lower level of rallycross uh, on the national level in Sweden is very, very good. Um, there is a lot of opportunities to, to compete in rallycross in Sweden. We have a lot of rallycross tracks. Uh, we also have uh, the lowest category, which is called uh, Folkways, which reminds quite a lot of uh, rallycross. So I think uh, many of us start at a very, very young age and there is uh, plenty of really good teams uh, in Sweden, which also makes it easier. Um, for drivers which is uh, upcoming to join one of the Swedish teams it always feels a lot closer when you can speak your own language and you know it's not too Sweden is not so big so it's always fairly close distance to a team which is competing in the world championship and like for example Sebastian Eriksson um, which has been working as a mechanic uh, and then uh, level up to, to drive so there's plenty of them uh, so I think that is uh, one of the reasons why there are so many Swedes. But of course, we would like to have uh, some more nationalities to compete against as well. I think I have to say uh, Riga 2017 when I became world champion for the first time. Uh, that victory will always be something special. I knew on the start line that if I win the race, I will secure the world championship. So to have that kind of finish to being able to secure the World Championship uh, with that I had to win. And yeah, that was uh, very special. Yes, I did. Didn't last first time when I took for the truck because when I drove uh, the driving test for the truck, it was the first time I ever drove the truck. And the, the, the guy said that the driving was good, but I forgot to put the card in for the to read how many kilometers you've driven and the hours and the, I don't know the name for it, but I forgot to plug that one in and yeah, then I didn't pass. I think the scariest must have been uh, 2011. Uh, driving a Porsche Carrera Cup on uh, Begring Lodgeleife uh, in the rain on the long straights. Um, I was in the traffic and I couldn't see anything from the rain spray from the cars in front. I remember I knew the straight was long and I was just flat out. I couldn't see anything so I tried to look out through the side window to find my way and see where on the track I was. Uh, remember looking down at the at the speed and it was 286 kph at that moment and not being able to see more than until your windscreen that was uh, pretty scary i actually jumped into my motorhome uh, together with my uh, mom and dad and drove uh, on uh, the autobahn in germany uh, heading to sweden and that reminds me very much of uh, when I was uh, very young and Papa was traveling Europe with uh, the bus and driving rallycross himself. Waking up on the morning uh, beside the Autobahn and just uh, with the fourth uh, world title together with mom and dad uh, on, uh, on that uh, parking. That was uh, something I will remember for, for life. It's not super fancy, but it was a memory for life for me.